The first day of school is always an exciting time for teachers and students alike. And you can definitely feel that excitement here at Carver Elementary. In fact, it's the first first day in what might feel like a long time for Carver, as Carver Middle School closed down last year. However, the community can rest easy now, seeing students walk through the doors of the newly named Carver Elementary. I'm excited. I'm ready to see, you know, what the school year brings for my kids. I have a, I have a first grader and I have a kindergartner. And they were, I think they were more excited to leave the house this morning than I was. As I walked in, like, I felt the love. I felt the welcome and I felt, you know, so I was like, yeah, th this is a perfect school for my kids. I'm really excited but a little nervous because I don't really know most of the way through this school because it's like a really big school. But I'm really excited to learn, explore, and have fun. Carver Elementary opens its doors, bringing in students and staff from T.J. Harris and Oakland Heights, making it the largest elementary school in the Meridian Public School District. Former Carver Elementary School student Amanda Shadwick is now the principal of Carver Elementary and spoke to News 11 about their plans for the upcoming school year. Uh, we are so excited to welcome kids back into the building today. We have a brand new building, fresh coat of paint, and we're just looking forward to educating kids this year. So Carver uh, Elementary was previously a middle school. Uh, it was one of the first middle schools on the west side of town. So we're just so glad to be opening the building back up, welcoming children into the building. And we're going to teach them about the history of the building so they can know where we got our start. When the students file into their classrooms, Carver Elementary can look forward to a successful day one and a promising reopening school year. I'm Nick O'Gelly, WTOK News 11.